Doctor Who fans love a trailer, as proved most recently by the fantastic trailer we got for the 6th anniversary specials airing next year, and you can watch my reaction to and breakdown of that trailer on the channel if you haven't already, but Doctor Who trailers aren't always quite what they seem. Sometimes, just very occasionally, you might see something in a trailer which you don't end up seeing in the episode itself. Or conversely, you might see something in an episode which didn't quite look the same in the trailer, but perhaps you didn't even notice, perhaps it just passed you by. With that in mind, today we're going to be looking at five times Doctor Who trailers lied to us, by either showing us footage that wouldn't be seen in the episodes themselves, or by manipulating the footage in such a way to hide certain plot details and elements. Number one, Nazis and Nude River in the Series 6 Part 1 trailer. So lots of Doctor Who fans like to do trailer breakdowns whenever a trailer is released, you know, scrutinising every single shot, and even sort of putting them into order perhaps, and ticking them off as the weeks go by and in a series, as the episodes go out, kind of ticking off the shots that have appeared and the shots that haven't yet appeared, and kind of waiting for certain shots to appear later in the series. But if you're watching Series 6 Part 1 go out, you might have been waiting quite a long time to see certain shots appear. That's because the very first trailer we got for Series 6 Part 1, the Coming Soon trailer aired at the end of A Christmas Carol, featured two bits of footage that would never actually appear in the show itself. Namely, from the series opener, The Impossible Astronaut. Now presumably at the time, these clips were still parts of the edit for The Impossible Astronaut, and they were intended to be part of the episode when it went out a few months later. But somewhere along the line between Christmas 2010 and April 2011, certain edits were made to the episode, certain bits were cut down and taken out, including these two clips. The first sequence shows three Nazi soldiers searching around, and was clearly meant to be part of that very brief glimpse we got of Nazi Germany in the episode's opening sequence where the Doctor is sort of larking about all over the place and the ponds are trying to track him down. And obviously we do see him with another dude in a tunnel trying to evade the Nazis in that sequence. So presumably we would have seen the Nazis themselves as well, but for whatever reason, for time or whatever, that sequence was cut down. And for the second clip, it's very much the same story, albeit with a much more infamous shot. So the shot shows River Song in the nude in her cell in Storm Cage, and this would have been part of her escape from Storm Cage, which once again we do see in the episode, but it's a lot briefer than intended. And originally we would have seen River Song undressed. I don't think we'd have seen any more than this before anyone gets, you know, too carried away with themselves. And that would have been part of the sequence of how she sort of hoodwinks the guards at Storm Cage and escapes to get to America. Incidentally, as well, this trailer gave us our first official glimpse of the Peg Dolls and some other bits and pieces, some clips from Night Terrors, a bit of voiceover there from the Doctor at the end, because originally Night Terrors was due to be part of Series 6 Part 1. It was due to be Episode 3 in place of The Curse of the Black Spot. And once again, this is something which changed in the interim. Number 2. The Unblind Doctor in the Series 10 trailer. Fast forward to the broadcast of the pilot, the first episode of Series 10 in April 2017. And once again, we've got a coming soon trailer for the series that was going to follow, featuring lots of clips from the upcoming episodes, including lots of clips from Episode 5, Oxygen, including one of the Twelfth Doctor sort of talking about how he's going to save everybody, with a slightly strange look to his eyes, perhaps, sort of looking down, sort of downwards gaze there, as opposed to looking whoever he's speaking to in the face. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not something that you'd pick up on particularly as being unusual, particularly when you consider what was to come at the end of this trailer, but this shot would go on to look very different when the episode finally aired four weeks later. That's because, of course, looking back at this point in the story, the Twelfth Doctor has been exposed to the vacuum of space, he's been blinded. And in the broadcast version of this shot, there's that sort of milky white look to his eyes, a sort of filter over his eyes, of course, which appeared in all the shots of the Twelfth Doctor at this particular point in the story, to indicate that he is indeed blind. But obviously, with this being such a major plot point, a major surprise for fans and viewers alike, the decision was presumably taken to remove that effect and just show an edited version of that shot in this trailer. Either that, or the visual effects people just hadn't got around to doing this shot at this particular point, although given how close we were to the episode's broadcast at this point, I think that's highly unlikely. So yes, the production team deliberately showed us a different version of this shot in the trailer to preserve the surprise in the episode itself. And it certainly wouldn't be the last time they did this, as we'll see later in the video. Number 3. John Sims Master in the Series 10 trailer. 
So this trailer was originally showed at the end of the premiere for the pilot, sort of a, a few weeks prior to the actual broadcast of it on BBC One. And for whatever reason, the production team decided to include that very final shot of John Sims Master, which of course gave the game away, which confirmed that he would be back in Series 10 in some form or another. And Stephen Moffat specifically said to the press and, and the guests in attendance, you know, please don't reveal this, please don't report on this, you know, please keep it a secret until the episode actually airs on BBC One, and then we can talk about it after that. But the tabloids being the tabloids, they leaked it, basically like the next day, and so the BBC were forced to, to do a press release to reveal the information a lot earlier than they intended to. And as exciting as this news was, you know, it did cause a lot of uproar, a lot of upsets, because it had essentially been leaked, and it was so avoidable and so preventable, but yeah, they kind of made the wrong call with that, showing it, you know, to the tabloids, to the press, a few weeks ahead of the broadcast. They should have just held back, you know, to the broadcast of the pilots, or indeed to the actual broadcast of World Enough in Time itself, and kept it a secret up to that point. But what you might not actually realise amongst all this hoo-ha is that the actual shot they showed of John Sims Master didn't actually appear in the episodes themselves. So once again, much like with the Series 6 Part 1 trailer, you know, obviously this shot did exist, and presumably at one point or another it was in the original edit for the Series 10 finale. Based on the colour grading, it looks to be from that very first scene between the Doctor and the Masters in the Doctor Falls. Although it's not exactly clear who he's turning to in this shot, because the Master kind of does this dramatic turn to face, you know, some character who we can just about glimpse in the foreground. We can see the top of their hair, the top of their hair. I guess it must either be the Doctor in his wheelchair or Missy. But yeah, that is one of the most conspicuous things about this shot for me, and one of the most ironic things about it as well. You know, they kind of they showed this shot of John Sims Master. You know, that was how the news leaked. And then when it came to the episode itself, that shot didn't actually appear. Maybe there was method to the madness, you know, maybe Stephen Moffat was like, right, take that shot out now, we're going to punish the tabloids, you know, we're going to punish them by not having the shot that they leaked in the episode itself. Or maybe, like with the Series 6 Part 1 example, maybe it was just a casualty of the edit, you know, to cut things down, to make things more concise, to fit the broadcast slots. Maybe this shot just had to go. Number 4. The Master in the Series 12 trailer. So you're probably thinking, well, the Master didn't actually appear in the Series 12 trailer. He wasn't there. He appeared in Spyfall at the end of the episode, but he wasn't in the trailer. And you would it'd sort of be right, but you'd also sort of be wrong. I mean, first things first, he is actually there in two of the shots, uh, very briefly, at a very sort of small scale. If you look very closely, first of all, where the Doctor and Co are sort of entering Barton's mansion, the big sort of wide, long shot, you know, the big drone shot of the mansion. He is there walking with them. And then we also see him entering Barton's hangar with the Doctor, Yaz, Ryan, and Graham. Though in both these shots, you know, we do only see him from behind or in silhouette, so, you know, you could be forgiven for completely missing the fact that he's there. And indeed, when the original Series 12 trailers went out, I don't remember anybody talking about this whatsoever. You know, the fact that there was a kind of mystery figure there with the fan, it wasn't just the four of them, there were five people there in both those shots. I don't remember anyone picking up on that particularly. You know, I think people just kind of thought, oh yeah, that would be like a, a kind of side character, or, or I don't know, a, a good guy, or some, some other minor, obscure, unimportant character who'll be appearing in this episode, but nothing more. And how wrong we were. But there's also another part to this, because there are other shots in this trailer which, you know, in the episode itself, do feature the Master. So namely three shots from the sequence where, you know, the Doctor and the Fam and the Master are once again sort of entering Barton's villa. The Doctor's there saying, you know, Doctor, the Doctor. She's there sort of adjusting her bow tie and Graham's there sort of adjusting his cuffs. But although these shots do feature the Master or C or Sashtawan in the episode itself, for the trailer, the production team went to the length of completely removing him from those three shots. Those three shots are in the trailer, but the master is not. Which is obviously a bit like what they did with the Doctor's blindness in the Series 10 trailer, but just on, on a whole other level. I think it's my favourite example of this list, to be honest, because it's just going in that extra mile to preserve that surprise. And like I say, you know, Doctor Who fans, we do trailer breakdowns, you know, we scrutinise every single shot. And if they had left Sasha Dewan in, then people would have, you know, picked up on him being there and kind of speculated about who he could be playing. They probably wouldn't have guessed that he would be playing the Master, you know, they might have just guessed he would be playing some other good guy or whatever. But the fact the production team went to these extra lengths to just completely 
remove him from the shots, you know, to edit those shots, to show versions of those shots which we didn't actually see in the episode itself. I just think is completely brilliant and completely genius and it was so worthwhile to do that to preserve the surprise of the master actually being in Spyfall. It was just so well orchestrated, so well done, you know, they knew exactly what they were doing for this and I'm so glad they did it. Number 5. Shooty Gatwa and the Cloudy Background in the 60th Anniversary Specials trailer. And that brings us right up to date with the most recent trailers released. So obviously, first of all, we had the teaser trailer for the 60th specials right after the Power of the Doctor ad. And then on Christmas Day, we basically got like an extended version of that trailer with lots more new exciting shots. But both trailers ended with the shots of Shooty Gatwa, the 15th Doctor, saying the iconic line, someone tell me what the hell is going on here. And although we're not going to be seeing that shot, or any of these shots indeed, but particularly that shot, for a very, very long time, you know, possibly not until the end of the third special, we know for a fact, thanks to showrunner Russell T. Davis, that when this shot does appear, it will be looking pretty different. That's because the clouds in the background of this shot are a placeholder for some other secret location, which apparently, if it was revealed, would give the game away, according to RTD. So clearly there is something about this shot which they are wanting to keep quiet about. You know, obviously it's got Shooty Gatwa there as the 15th Doctor. He does appear to be wearing, you know, the white shirt and the grey tie that the 14th Doctor will be wearing, David Tennant. So this could be like a post-regeneration scene after the Doctor has just regenerated into Shooty Gatwa. As for where the location could be, I think the most obvious example would be the new TARDIS set, which obviously you know, they are keeping under wraps until next year, quite rightly, even though it has actually leaked already. Or perhaps it's some other location familiar to fans, familiar to the Doctor, familiar to the show. You know, perhaps it's Gallifrey or some other alien planet that we might recognise. Who knows? So there we have it. Five times the Doctor Who trailers lied to us. Which of these, if any, were you in the know about? And are there any other examples which I forgot to mention? Let me know down in the comments section below. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, and also please subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this in the future. And if you'd like to go the extra mile in supporting the content I make, you can find the link to my Patreon page down in the video description. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye for now.